What's up YouTube? My name is Brandon Dunham. I'm here with my buddies over at Franklin Armory and today we're going to be taking apart and cleaning your F-17 BS-4 rifle. Awesome barbet gun, flat shooting, super fast. You guys should check them out. Franklin Armory. And now we're ready to clean. In order to do that, we're going to need a couple items. We're going to need a punch block, a hammer, we need a screwdriver with an interchangeable tip, a 564th X bit, and a flathead screwdriver, as well as an assortment of various punches. We also are going to need some SIL 2000 gun lube, some SIL 2000 carbon killer, excellent product, check them out. We're going to need a 177 bore brush, some handy dandy Q-tips, some gloves, and a cleaning rod as well as some mouths. Now that we have our weapon on safe and cleared, we are now ready to take down the weapon. And to do that, you'll see on this side, there's two takedown pins, and we're gonna take a punch. Also, a bullet works really, really well. We're gonna slide those out. Don't worry about losing them. They are retained, so they're not gonna fall out and go anywhere. And we're gonna expose our trigger group and buffer tube. Um, I recommend cleaning your trigger group and buffer tube, uh, you know, regularly. That way, uh, everything remains in working order. We're not going to be doing that today for time purposes, but pull the charging handle. We'll expose the bolt carrier group and the charging handle. All right. Okay. Now that we have our bolt carrier group exposed with our charging handle, we're going to set that aside, and we're going to take apart our bolt carrier group. We're going to take this pin right here. And we're gonna extract that with a punch. It's probably the easiest way to do it. We're gonna slide the firing pin out. We're gonna take the cam pin out, and we're gonna extract the bolts. Set those aside for cleaning. Okay, now that we have our bolt exposed, we are gonna take it apart by taking our punch and punching out our extractor pin. Easy to do, just take a hammer, punch, give it a couple light taps. A little bit more to go, just like that. Do be careful though, because there are a lot of small parts in here, such as your firing pin, your extractor, and your extractor spring, which you can barely see. Okay, now that our bolt carrier group and our bolt are taken apart and are properly cleaned, we're gonna do some lubrication. All you're gonna need is a Q-tip and some Slip 2000 lube. Comes in these little tiny uh, applicators, which are really convenient. But since we have a big old jug of it, we're gonna pour a little into the cap of the jug. Dip our Q-tip in there and lubricate our bolt just lightly. And we're gonna wipe it down with our cloth. A little goes a long way. Doesn't need to be sopping wet. Um, common uh, misnomer of the AR world. This is pretty much an AR. Uh, meant to be fired with very little lubrication. So we're gonna put this back together and we're gonna insert our firing pin back inside. Which can be kind of tricky, but got it. On the first go too. <laughs> we're gonna take our extractor plate and our extractor spring. We're gonna take those, put the extractor spring in, and our extractor right on top. Make sure your gloves don't get stuck in there like mine just did. Then we're gonna take our punch block, move this to the slide side so it doesn't go flying in the air. Then we're gonna take a hammer and punch this in. Make sure you don't smash your fingers. Go right in as long as you're uh, lined up there. The extractor and the bolt should be ready to go. To finish it up, you're gonna take your small punch and then you're gonna set it evenly across the bolt, like so. Next, we're going to reassemble our bolt carrier group. We're gonna apply a little bit of lubrication to the firing pin. We're 
wipe down. We're going to reassemble this. Bolt goes in. It's only going to go in one way or else the uh, cam pin is not going to be inserted properly. So you'll know if you're right or wrong. Insert the cam pin. And the firing pin. Next, to finish it all off, we're going to take our bolt carrier pin and we're going to reinsert that into the bolt carrier group. Make sure it's lined up, the bolt has to go all the way forward and should just press in with very little ease. To make sure it's properly functioned, make sure your bolt slides across the bolt carrier group. Okay, now that we have our Bolt carrier group fully reassembled and properly located. We're going to set this aside by our charging handle and we're going to get to cleaning the bore and chamber of our S17 rifle. To do that, you're going to need a Q-tip that's broken in half. We'll get to explaining that later. Some Slip 2000, a rag, and a bore rod with a 177 caliber bore To get started, take a rag, dip it in some Slip 2000, and clean the inside of the chamber. Super easy. To wipe up the excess, just take the dry end of your rag and sop up anything that's visibly wet. Okay, now that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to be taking our pour brush and we are going to be inserting it from the chamber side inserting it into the barrel and pushing out down towards the ground. Pulling it back out through there, setting that aside. And we're gonna follow that up with the Q-tip. What you're gonna do is you're gonna dip that in some Slip 2000. You're gonna insert the Q-tip into the barrel from the chamber side and you're gonna push that said Q-tip down the barrel, out the end. Works super easy, and as you can see, cleans very well. I do want to stress the importance of not using any foam-based cleaners on any part of your F-17 series rifle, uh, especially the gas block components. Uh, if you use the foam-based cleaners on that, it will degrade the uh, components of your gas block. So do not use it. Next, what we're going to be doing is taking off our handguard and exposing our gas components, the uh, gas block and the piston system. Uh, Franklin Armory doesn't recommend cleaning this before 10,000 rounds. And if you do, uh, have it done professionally by a gunsmith or ship it back to Franklin Armory. They'll do it for a small fee. Super easy. If you guys want to do it yourself though and you feel confident, confident in your abilities to do so, we're going to show you how to do that right now. You need a flathead screwdriver, a 564 Hex bit, some various punches, a hammer, and a punch block. To get started, you're going to take your flathead screwdriver and you're going to back out the screws on the bipod mount. Set that aside, change out the bit to the 564 hex, and you're going to start backing out those screws as well. Keep in mind these are going to be having some Loctite on them from the factory, uh, some blue Loctite. And to get that off, if these uh, are sticking at all, just apply light heat, uh, blowtorch for a quick second, or a heat gun. I'd recommend the heat gun, and uh, common sense kind of dictates that you're not gonna put a blowtorch on your weapon for very long. Now that those are backed out, we can unscrew our handguard. Okay, now that we've unscrewed our handguard, you slide that off and set it aside, exposing our gas block system. This is our piston and gas block right here. Uh, the factory to recommend cleaning, uh, they're going to recommend a tilt test. Basically, you tilt the receiver and barrel back and forth, the piston system will slide back and forth, indicating it does not need to be cleaned. However, it gets stuck. Just take it apart and clean it. 
take a punch block and your punch, your hammer, set the pin aside, and now your gas block will slide off the barrel along with your piston. All right, now that we've slid our gas block and our piston off of our barrel uh, to clean it, what we're going to do is we're just gonna take the piston off and drop it right in here. This has already been cleaned and it's passing our tilt test, so we don't need to clean it. Um, same thing with the gas block. We're just gonna drop that whole thing in the Slip 2000 Carbon Killer and it should strip all the carbon off there. If there's anything left on there, hit it lightly with a brush and uh, reassemble it. To reassemble it, make sure it's completely dry. Uh, don't use any lube on this. This is designed to fire dry and uh, be reattached to the barrel and receiver. All right, now that we've cleaned our gas block and piston, we are going to finish cleaning the rest of the gun, hence the barrel. And to do that, we're gonna grab a rag, dip in a little bit of Slip 2000, wipe down the barrel, take the dry end of our cloth, wipe out any excess. Set that down for now, set that aside. To reattach our gas block and piston, we're gonna slide the gas block and piston down the barrel and line it up with the receiver and the gas block pinhole. Once that's all in place, you're gonna take your gas block pin, insert it, and take your hammer. All right, now that we have it semi-flush, we're gonna finish it off with a punch. Just give it a couple light taps. Until it's flush. Set that aside. Passes the fill test, so we're good there. What we're gonna do now is reattach our handguard. To do that, we are going to slide that over the barrel and gas block. All right, now that we are almost done with this, we're gonna screw that down until we are lined up with our 564th hex screws. Right about there. We're gonna make sure that the screws are aligned with the handguard holes on all sides. And we're gonna reattach our hex, 564th hex bits. One thing I uh, want to mention is that if you want to secure these again, you can use some blue Loctite. Uh, it prevents the screws from backing out. Super easy to apply. Next, what we're going to do is re reattach our bipod mount. Just do that. We're just going to take our screwdriver with a flathead bit, screw in the front, and screw in the back. Super easy to do. And that completes the upper. Okay, once our upper is assembled again, we're gonna do a tilt test one more time. Make sure there's no interference with the gas block or piston. And as you can hear, sounds good. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to reinstall and lubricate our bolt carrier group. To do that, you're gonna take some Slip 2000 gun lube and a Q-tip. Wipe off any excess and lightly apply to the exterior of your bolt. And the bolt carrier group. Wipe down any excess. Don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. Okay, now that we've lubricated our bolt carrier group and components, what we're going to do is we're going to reassemble our upper. To do that, it's super easy. We're going to apply a little bit of Slip 2000 to the top of the charging handle here. We're going to wipe that down. We're going to reinsert our charging handle into the upper. There's a notch that it's going to fit into. It should be super easy to find. It's only going to go on one way. 
Next, we're gonna take our bolt carrier group and we're gonna insert that on top of the charging handle. Slide it all forward. Now your upper is assembled. Now that we have our bolt carrier group and our charging handle reinserted into our upper, make sure that's closed and I'm gonna dish these gloves. We're gonna reassemble our rifle now. There we go, F-17, take it apart, clean, reassemble. All right, next we're gonna do a function check on our F-17, and to do that, we're going to pull the charging handle back, make sure there's nothing in the chamber. We're gonna take our rifle and move it from safe to fire, and we're gonna dry fire it. Looks like everything's working fine. We're gonna recheck, put the weapon back on safety. And there we go, we have a completed clean F-17 from Franklin Armory. Go check them out here. And if you guys like the video, you want to see some more from me or follow me on Instagram, you can follow me here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.